What is good, people? We're about to go to the gym, and right now we're gonna. Oh, wait there, wait there. You see, that's a thumbs up. That's subliminal. That is, hit the thumbs up button, people. But it is actually an air freshener I got from the car wash. Anyways, people, we're about to go to the gym right now, start off this full day of eating. But what we're doing is starting off with, I guess it's fasted cardio. It's purely because I don't feel hungry. So yeah, we're about to go to the gym. I may even try and do car abs as well. So it'll be like fasted abs and cardio. But most of all, I'll be showing you guys food that I'm eating throughout the day. She's got a man, but don't give a damn car. She wants a man from Brom. She wants a man from Brom. Right people, we are now out left the gym. Done the cardio, done a good session on abs, which I didn't actually expect to do. So now I just gotta go home and eat, man, the first meal, which literally won't be till probably 4 p.m., which is somewhat nuts, but I don't even feel hungry still. Right, so if you see the times, it is like 3.25 right now. So today's full day of eating probably won't be a typical full day of eating, but I'm still gonna show you the type of foods I'll eat in a day, uh, just so you can get ideas of certain foods to try out. Because we're eating so late now, I'm going to change my breakfast to uh, something high protein. All right, you're now looking at the world's messiest bagel, but it's a two egg, four bacon medallion bagel, thin uh, with some lettuce in it as well. This is roughly, it should be 43 grams of protein around that. Uh, around 13 grams of fat and I can't remember the carbs, maybe around 20-ish. Under 400 calories, I believe. And we are eating this at 4.15. So yeah, this is the first meal of the day. This is pretty damn late. So I'll probably have to like up the volume of some of the next meals in terms of calories to try and push me a little bit higher to what I should be in. But honestly, I still don't even feel that hungry. I think yesterday, because it threw me out my routine yesterday, I just don't feel that hungry, but I am going to at least make sure I eat some food. Ouch. You're so sweet. I love you. There. I said it and I'm not taking it back. Right, fresh from showering, we're on to the next meal now. This is 5.30 and what we're going to do is have something, you know what, something I've been craving all day. And some of you are like, oh my god, is it takeaway? No, it's is this. I've been craving like this for ages, so I'm going to have it with brand, all brand, sorry. I'm going to try out having all brand instead of brand flakes, just because it's like double the amount of fiber. And I've never actually tried all brand, like this exact one. So this is what I'm going to have now with real milk. I don't want to have almond milk today, just because I need to get in extra calories. So similar to the reason I did in the last full day of eating when I spoke about having um, like actual oil or like the one calorie sprays, it all comes down to your calories because I've eaten, I've eaten so late today, I need to gain extra calories. Having whole milk has more calories than um, the almond milk, so I'm gonna go for that instead. Anyway, I'm gonna have this now quickly, warm in the microwave, because I have my cereal warm. Yes, I'm still warm cereal gang, always will be. And because I've never had the old brand before, I don't know how much a regular serving size is, so I'm gonna use the scale for the first time, just so I can kind of see. And I'll just pour out what I naturally would think would kind of start to fill me up. I would think that would be a nice start. So that's 40, six grams. According to this, 40 grams is 130 calories. Might as well give you a semi review of it as well, because I've never had the all brand before. I know some of you still have normal cereal, like, I don't know, Frosties and just Corn Flakes. It looks a lot drier than Bran Flakes, but we will soon see. Uh, but that is one of the reasons why I'm having that, because this helps flavor anything. So I'm trying it now. I'm gonna say that it didn't taste as sweet as Bran Flakes. It tastes okay, it's just a little bit, the aftertaste is a little bit more dry. But having this with it will taste make it taste a lot better. So if I get my handy scale again, weigh out what I think I'll need. And that is 45 grams of this, and I'll put it on my fitness pal so you can see it on the screen to see what it equals out to. So we've got 45. So I'm gonna eat that bowl now, granola and all bran. I'll see you guys later on for the next actual meal that I'll probably cook. Um, I'm not gonna spoil it, I'll let you know what he's done. By the way, here's the physique. Alright people, we are now back and we have the Saiyans joining us for the rest of this full day of eating. We've got Future Trunks, we've got Vegeta, we've got Team Gohan and Goku. Everything's right in the world. One thing that's not is, what I was going to have next was some turkey mints. However, it looks a little, the colour seems to be looking a little bit grey in my opinion. It could be in my head, but I know it's not as red as it was when I first used it. It's only been open for a day and it looks like it's personally, it looks like it's gone off. So I'm taking that and I'm just going to throw it in the bin because I'm not risking it. I don't risk anything with food. If you feel like some food's off, throw it away. Uh, the problem is, is that today's a Sunday and most supermarkets at this point are closed. So I'm just going to make do with what I've got. So what I've got is a small amount of chicken. We have about 190 grams of chicken fillets here. Uh, I've also 
for a change, instead of having whole wheat wraps, 118 calories, really tasty. For a change, what I'm gonna do is put the chicken in, the, in one of these instead. So basically, it's just like the lettuce. If you've ever seen like, instead of having a wrap, you just kind of put the meat wherever it is, inside the lettuce and just snap it and then have it that way. It's basically an easy way if you'd still have like a wrap like tortilla type food, but without having the carbs and calories from something else. And because I want to get more veggie in my diet, it just makes sense to try it out. So why not try this romaine lettuce hearts? Alright, so we have these little chickens cooking and then we've also got the romaine lettuce and some little veg I'm going to chop up. Alright, so here we go. We got two lettuces. Is that you say? I think that's the right word, lettuces. In uh, with the chicken and tomatoes and mushrooms in it. Uh, so that's basically replaced my wraps, which would have been an extra 118 calories each. Alright, so before I take these bad boys to the other room, let me try and have one of them, see what it tastes like. Because I will tell you, I'm not a massive fan of having anything cold. So I'm hoping the food has warmed up the lettuce. It holds up though, look. The backbone's very strong, it's not like it's falling out. Oh shit, it's hot. It's gonna burn my tongue. And honestly, it's, all it is, it just tastes like I'm eating chicken from the air. You can't taste the lace at all. Where's the wrap? I can taste the wrap. It's like I'm just eating, like, chicken from the air. Did I say chicken? Chicken. And to give you a heads up quickly, the calories for this meal is... 335 calories, which is super low for a meal. Most meals I have, I would class a low calorie meal for me, being anything under 400 calories. So for something to be 235, um, calories is mad low. In terms of protein, that comes out to around 45 to 50 grams of protein just because of the, the almost 200 grams of chicken. That's not bad. Literally, out of 235 calories, 45 grams of these protein. That's really good. So yeah, I'm gonna come back and cook in about a couple hours. The time right now, which I forgot to show you guys, is that seven o'clock. So I'll probably eat maybe an hour, an hour and a half. All right, people. Next thing on the list is salmon. We're having two fillets of salmon. Uh, we're gonna have that with sweet potatoes. I was gonna have it with pasta, but in honesty, throughout this whole day, as I've said like a thousand times, my appetite is just not there. I just don't feel like having such a bulky meal. Um, plus, 200 sweet potatoes is enough calories as it is, so I'm gonna have 270 grams of sweet potatoes with two fillets of salmon, which is 260 grams. Uh, so that should, because it's salmon as well, that'd be quite high calories. And they'll probably mix in like some veg, like cucumbers, tomatoes, mushrooms, maybe chopped up. I'll show you guys anyway. Um, the only thing that I'm missing today is fruits, because I have no fruits. I overate on them yesterday, which is why I don't have any left. So I had an extra 150 grams of raspberries yesterday and an extra pack of the blueberries, so I don't have any today. And I forgot to go buy some earlier. So that's the one thing I'm missing out today in terms of micros. I've got my veggies in, but the fruits are slacking. Regardless, we're about to make the salmon and sweet potatoes. The sweet potato is virtually half done anyway. This has already been on for 10 minutes. So I'm gonna put it on for the final 10 minutes now in the air fryer. All I've gotta do is cook this and then also chop up the veg to add in. Alright peeps, and here we have it. We have a salmon, sweet potato and veg bowl. Uh, so here we've got cucumbers, we've got tomatoes, we've got a whole bunch of lace at the bottom, we've got sweet potatoes on top. I've also left a little bit of salmon and sweet potatoes left over just so I can have that in around 30 to 45 minutes. I think I mentioned last time that I often don't want to feel too bloated at one go because it's kind of like a filling meal. So what I do is I space it out. So for example, if I take the time now, it is currently, what's that? 8.30, so I'll eat this now, then probably around 9 o'clock, I'll eat the rest of it. Uh, and then that'll basically be my last meal, and after that, I might as well show you guys now to end out this video. What I'll be having is two of these little Hartley jellies that I bought, zero, cal zero, zero sugar jellies, and they're five um, calories per pot. I will end out the day on that, so hopefully guys, today has been a day of hitting the calories, I think I'm around the 2000 mark. But I haven't hit the macros of what I normally have. I'm almost, I, I know, just because of how I've been tracking and choosing my head, that I'm over on the fats by probably about 15, 15 grams. I'm going to say that I'm over 65 grams on fat. Protein, I'm going to say is a little bit less. So I'm going to say 170 grams. Carbs, 
I think that's probably similar to what I always have between 130 to 160 grams of carbs. But I'll put it all on screen so you guys can see. You can kind of guess and see if my estimations is okay. But in terms of this meal that I'm about to have right now, if I ate it in one sitting, it would come out to, just so you know, in terms of calories. Oh shit, this would be the most um, filling one in terms of calories. This meal comes out to around eight, just under 800 calories, just because it's salmon and the high fat content equals more calories. So yeah, people, hope you enjoyed this full day of eating. If you have, please hit the video with a thumbs up. If you want to see more food ideas, let me know. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw the homemade Kentucky Fried Chicken one that's super macro friendly. That one's dope. I want to film that one soon. But Kareen is the one that knows how to make that. I don't know how to make that from scratch. So I have to maybe convince her to make it. Anyways, people, like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. I'm going to go eat and enjoy watching How I Met Your Mother. Peace. <laughs>